Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of The Salvation Creek. My name is Faye Cavoti. So today I want us to talk about prayer. You know, life is a mystery, and sometimes we don't fully understand what is happening behind the scenes. We just live to see another day. And some of us have questions, but we never seem to get answers to these questions. Deep down our hearts, we know that we were actually meant for more. But we do not know how to get to this point where we can live our lives to the fullest and fulfill that purpose which God has put inside of us. We are just stuck. We know that our lives are meant to be something more than what we are right now, but we do not know what direction to take. We've tried our hands on several things, but none of these things seem to be working. We know that something is not right somewhere, but we can't really place our hands on this something that is not right, that something within us has, does not sit right when we live an average life. You know, we're looking to live this extraordinary life, but we don't know how to do it. So we sit down to analyze our lives. We even ask the people around us to help us understand what is happening, but them too do not have an answer because they are also struggling with their own issues. They are also struggling to understand their full potential and what their calling is. So when we ask them to do this, they may not fully get involved to help us find solutions to these problems. And even when they find solutions to these problems, they are just temporary solutions that last for a shorter period of time. And then the cycle again starts of wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this what God has called me to do? And our life becomes a cycle of questions and short-lived answers, which does not really give us full satisfaction. Your answer lies in prayer. And when I say prayer, I don't mean the one minute or two minute prayers that we make when we are just lashing out or we want when we want to take food or when we are meeting somewhere and we just pray for two or three minutes. That is not the kind of prayer I'm referring to. When I say that you need prayer, I mean you need to go deeper with God. You need to tarry at the place of prayer. You need to pray for long periods of time. And when you do that, something inside you starts becoming alive. You know, the Holy Spirit takes charge. And now he starts directing you to the right path, directing you to the right people, giving you the right ideas of what to do. Because in prayer, we download the blueprint of our lives. When you tarry at the place of prayer, you suddenly start seeing things that were previously invisible to you. You start looking at your life differently. And there are things that you will do away with and then there are new things that you will adopt. As long as the Holy Spirit is leading you, you are on the right path. But the moment you get outside of prayer and start leading yourself, most of the times those plans are only short-lived and at some point they will crumble. Prayer is like an x-ray. You know, when you are unwell and then you go to the doctor, when the doctor can't really pinpoint where the problem is inside your body, sometimes they send you to a radiologist. The radiologist does imaging. It is these images that will tell the doctor where the problem lies, what is eating you, and, and uh, what does not sit right. And when the doctor looks at this, he is now able to prescribe the right procedure and the right medication for you that target that specific problematic area. So that is the same with Christians. When you go into the place of prayer, you are now able to clearly see that this is where the problem lies, this is what I need to do, and this is what I need to stop doing. Because when you are just living like a wholesale life, you do not know where the problem is, you know. You try to treat the leg, but probably it's not the leg that has a problem. Maybe it's your hip. You try to treat your stomach, probably it's not the stomach that has an issue. Maybe it's your head. You try to treat your head, and the root cause of that problem is not in the head. It's probably in your tummy. And you're just trying to guess things here and there, but you don't fully understand where the problem lies. Now, when you go into prayer, 
the holy spirit opens up your eyes you now start seeing where the problem is you now start noticing this i did not do right here this is where i need to repent i need to break this generational curse i need to 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 forgive so and so i need to stop this and this behavior and when you start that and then your healing process starts you no know, you start seeing your life in a clear picture and the more you get deeper with god the more clearer your life will become so take prayer seriously you know find yourself some time in your own space create your quiet time where it is just you and god and the holy spirit and jesus just you and god no read the word of god pray worship praise those are the things that will build you things that were so difficult for you will now start being so obvious you will marvel at yourself you will notice that there is a certain kind of joy that just comes within you if you are in in a place of uncertainty you don't know which direction to take you don't know what to do the number one thing you should do is pray pray and pray some more once you begin praying you will start seeing things clearly it might take time but i assure you at the end of the day you will start seeing things differently and your life will start radiating differently so pray pray thank you so much that's it for today's video so until next time ciao